I'm Captain Dave Fundeberg from the 325th Fighter Wing, stationed at Tyndall Air Force Base, Panama City, Florida. It's my pleasure this afternoon to describe for you today's flight demonstration by America's premier air superiority fighter, the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. And now from the left, Captain Donovan is selecting full afterburner and beginning his takeoff roll. finish this maneuver at just 500 feet, traveling at more than 500 miles per hour in the opposite direction from takeoff. turning back towards show center. As he reaches show center, he'll show you what good training and good equipment can do when crisp handling is essential to the mission. The four-point roll demonstrates the precise handling of the F-15. pressure eight times his normal weight. slow pass. From slow flight, Captain Donovan will pull up into a difficult maneuver called the Cuban 8.
called the Immelman. We'll modify it slightly to demonstrate the F-15's exceptional power and maneuverability. This one's called the Double Immelman. Captain Donovan will use the thrust advantage of the Eagle to perform it in only 6,000 feet of vertical airspace. by soaring up beyond 12 miles above the Earth in just two minutes and three seconds. This is more than 17 years since that record was made. It is yet to be broken. Captain Donovan will now show you just what a high-speed climb looks and sounds like. He's soon inbound at 500 feet, traveling at less than one-third the F-15's top speed. As he reaches show center, he'll pull up with a vertical climb made possible by the two superb engines to power the world's best fighters. the F-15 such an exceptional fighting machine. When it was designed, it was the first fighter built since the Korean War, built to meet the needs of the pilot in air-to-air -air combat. The cockpit was positioned to allow the pilot exceptional visibility from all quadrants, and it was built around a radar that extends the eyes of the pilot well beyond visual range, helping him to see small, high-speed targets down a treetop level. Captain Donovan is now inbound for his final maneuver, a tactical pitch-up prior to his landing. He'll pass us at 500 feet, then make a rolling pitch up as he reverses his direction and prepares to land. accelerating through 300 miles per hour and lowering the landing gear and flaps as he prepares to land. To hold approximately 150 miles per hour on final and touch down at approximately 130. As he lands, notice how Captain Donovan will use the large wings of the F-15 to dramatically slow during the landing rollout. By holding the nose up high and keeping the wings exposed to the airstream, the Eagle doesn't require a drag chute. But as good as the Eagle is, time and technology is beginning to challenge its dominance. It first flew back in 1972, but the aircraft to replace it when the time comes is already off the drawing board and into the air flying. It's called the new advanced tactical fighter, the F-22. This aircraft will build on the lessons we've learned from the Eagle, add revolutionary new avionics, the latest stealth technology, and supersonic cruise engines, guaranteeing the United States total air superiority well into the 21st century. And now, on behalf of our ACC Commander, General John Michael Lowe, thanks for being with us today. We hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the F-15. Captain Donovan, myself, or our superb maintenance personnel will be happy to answer any questions you may have after the show. Thank you very much. All right, folks, let's have a nice round of applause for the United States Air Force and their F-15 Eagle. And another great fighter jet demonstration here this afternoon.